Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? If you say so. Come on! You want to see Bronte or not? I ain't got all day here, mister. Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming after us. Stop, little shit. Run. Ah! Bye, mister. <laughs> Kid, that shit went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. You know, I kind of miss old Bob Tails. I don't. That was absolutely delicious, my dear. Thank you. Well, I think the toast is a 95. Couldn't get the eyes off the trolley wires. Technology. All well and good, so long as it works. Come on! Keep up! You better stop right now! Hey! More on! Come on! Keep up! That's enough! Come here! Hey! More on! Hey, He's just too much for me! You better stop right now! Hey! Moron! Hey, get one for your dog! Abre los ojos! Look out! Bye, mister! <laughs> Really need your gun out now? Just give it up, farm boy. I'll kill you, you thieving bastard. You ain't got a chance in hell, slowpoke. You give that back. Come on, run like the goats got loose. 
Just give it up, kid! My careful! Ugh, kid. Hey, eyes ahead, friend. I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Stands for when? Since forever. I read it in the newspaper. Oh, so it must be true. Fellas, you seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15? Oh, yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. So let's just agree to disagree on the cucumber. If you want to disagree with the truth, that's your choice. Worst fellow to come to the market with, hands down. Morning. Boo! I can't believe that. Tell me. <laughs> this is fun, oh. mister. I like you. Morning. I'm a blow in myself. Hi, Gamgala. Stop, little shit. Mmm. Mm. What's the problem, friend? Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> ah. Come on! You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but... I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here.
anybody show me some kindness? He killed all the himself. Belle journée, n'est-ce pas? Oh, hell. Pass riding through town last week, dragging some helpless farmer. Oh, anything you want to give me, please help. Morning, mister. <laughs> Nice morning, ain't it, mister? Come on now, get moving, will you? Buenos días, señor. Pérdida de tiempo. Ten cuidado. Pim's not doing too well. Good morning, sir. you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. <sighs> We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Buenos dias. Lovely morning to you.
This goddamn place is rotten to the core. Right, bought and sold, clothes and sundry tailors. Laundry only was sent to hard labor camp. No papers. Good morning, sir. Fine morning. Good morning to you. Yeah, how you making out?
partner. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this? Gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, 
we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Grave robbers? You think he... He's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good. Holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branson for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. Idiot! Ah. This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Once we get the boy back, that bastard better keep his word. 
Don't exactly make it too hard for Grand Robbers to do that. Hey! Did you hear that? Hey, wait a second. Let's keep going. When my time comes, Arthur, make sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. This place gives me the chills. <laughs> I'm gonna push your head. You watch my back. Stop. Oh, I'm sorry. I had a bit to drink. My friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. I think I heard something. What? I hear something in there. Get in cover, and we'll bust the door in. You boys found my pappy's watching! Damn it! How many you see? Three? Four? Hard to tell! You should have played Mr. Bronte! Nice shoot! Let's bail, boys! This ain't worth it! Look out! They're making a run for it! You see him? Careful, they're leading us out in the open. Can't see worth a damn. We sure picked the right night for it. I'm here. Reckon this is gonna wake a few people up. No doubt. Can't fight for those son of a bitch. Can hardly see what I'm shooting at. If it moves, blast it. Oh God. Oh God. You think you can rob us? Ah, got a hit. You low down bastards. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Next time Dutch can go and I'll have the drink. Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. Just keep your head down. Who do you think you are? You 
picked the right place to die, all right? their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first... We thought at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. There might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Let's go around the side.
Fast and Hold him damn, Tiger! <laughs> 